track three. Today, the city of Detroit is famous for its basketball team, for the rapper Eminem, who grew up in this city, for once being the picture of the American dream, and for almost going bankrupt a few years ago. However, it is a less known fact that Detroit played a key role in the development of popular music in America. Motown, an American record company from Detroit, produced music that changed America. Over half a century ago, on January 12th, 1959, a young African-American songwriter named Barry Gordy Jr. was working in the automobile industry, where he got the idea for founding a music company. He saw how beautiful cars were made from simple metal parts, and he thought that the same could be done in music. He set up his company with a loan of $800 from his family, and the company's first name was Tamla Records. Later, on April 14, 1960, it became the Motown Record Corporation. The name, a combination of the words motor and town, also became a nickname for Detroit. The premises of Motown were housed at 2648 West Grand Boulevard in Detroit, and the sign Hitsville, USA was proudly displayed over the front door. The house was located in a row of houses that used to belong to rich people, but by that time had become a rundown area. Hitsville, USA was not just a location. Very soon it became a hit factory, and history would be made there. Before Motown, not many people in America had listened to music written and performed by African Americans. And Motown changed that. It made African American musicians famous, and it brought people together. Together with its music, Motown produced social and cultural change, and made its mark not just in the music industry, but society at large. The sound they produced has become one of the most significant musical accomplishments and stunning success stories of the 20th century. Motown's music touched people of all ages and races. A key element in Gordy's strategy was to make his records appeal to everyone, which is how and why he came up with the slogan, The Sound of Young America. The key element of his early plans was for their album covers not to show the performers. Potential record buyers had no idea whether they were black or white. Even biographical details of Motown artists were difficult to get a hold of. All the public could do was decide whether they liked the records or not. For the most part, they loved them. Later, Gordy would boast. Whether you were black, white, green or blue, you could relate to our music. From the very beginning, Motown achieved spectacular success as a small record company. During the 1960s, Motown released 535 singles in the USA. Of these, 357 made R&B charts and or pop charts. It had 79 records in the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100 record chart between 1960 and 1969. In the late 80s and 90s, all of Motown's major artists were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. No other record company in history has exerted such an enormous influence on both the style and the substance of popular music and culture. With more than 180 number one hit songs worldwide and counting, that influence is still being felt today, from pop to hip hop. In 2009, Motown celebrated the 50th anniversary of the company's founding. The Motown sound is a worldwide phenomenon beloved by millions to this day. Today, Motown is not only the greatest pop music hit factory ever heard, but an institution, a state of mind, a way of life, a style, the sound of young America. The distinctive upbeat and uplifting music brought together pop and soul, white and black, old and young like never before, and continues to this day. Motown became the heartbeat of American pop music. Some of the most popular artists who recorded for this company were Diana Ross and the Supremes, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, Stevie Wonder, The Temptations, Marvin Gaye, Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5, Lionel Richie and the Commodores, and many more. Today, the label is part of the Universal Music Group, with its classic recorded music catalog managed by Universal Music Enterprises, UME. The timeless songs from Motown between 1959 and 1985 are represented by EMI Music Publishing, 